I'm Bjorn from Skeno. Welcome for a new session with Knitting With Me. I designed a triangle shawl for you and uh, the special is using two different yarn weights. I picked up our flame yarn, it's a thick and thin very fine merino yarn and our merino nylon sock yarn. So you will see how is this working on one size needle. It does. The needle size is for the thick yarn to thin and for the thin yarn to thick. So just in the middle. The best way, and you know I always say this, knit a swatch and then you will find out which needle size is the best for you. It's very easy knitting. It's almost all garter stitch. There's only one single row which one is being purled to catch up with this nice striped uh, wavy wavy stripe so it's very textured and I really really like it a lot because it's so very simple and easy and you can catch some effects so let's see follow me and I will share my swatch with you and then the shawl which one is still on the needle so I have something to do tonight so to present this in our newsletter thank you and see you soon so this is my little sample for today, knitting with two different weights of yarn. We have here our Donna yarn, it's a super bulky yarn, multi-strand. And on the left, that little uh, peach color or salmon color yarn, is our Sophia yarn. It's a two-ply fingering yarn. And both are worked together here in my sample. The thick yarn is used for one row, even if it shows two like here but it's just one row and the Sophia yarn is being used for two rows. If I stretch it a little bit you will see that there are two rows in between here as well but almost not visible because the little dots here making a nice uh, row and it has a nice texture so it goes up and down and up and down. It's like little waves. So it's all garter stitch except one row. It is purled. Otherwise everything is knitted. My edge is a little bit not nice. I'm not proud of it. But you have to find your edge knitting. The left side is a little better than the right side. But uh, changing the yarn with the bulky yarn it's always a little bit hard to hide. So if this would be a, a sweater it will go in the seam anyway on both sides. For a shawl or for a scarf, um, you need to find a nice way to do so. Maybe in a new video in a, at a later time, I will come back to this. And uh, until then, I have to try for myself to find the best way to hide these loops here. So in the second set section, I will go row by row and will show you what to do knitting with a 10 size needle which one is too small for the big yarn here and too large for the small yarn so it's kind of in the middle to just not have this uh, it's too lazy and too open but this is for my opinion a nice way to combine two different yarn weights So I have it now in my hand and I'm knitting with the Donna yarn. So just all the way across, knit it. So my hands are up a little bit the air. So, so just across all knit stitches. So it's the yarn is a little bit too thick for the 10 size needle, but it works. It's a little bit training, but otherwise. So, and here you see my stitches are getting very, very loose, so you just have to tighten this. So now I'm knitting two rows with the thin yarn, and here comes now what you have to pay attention. If the thick yarn is showing here purl stitches, the next row need to be knitted. So that is the only thing you have to watch for. So as I said, you need to watch your edge. So two rows just knitted with the thin yarn. 
and one row with the thick yarn. And you will see that after I finish two rows with my thin yarn, my yarn is on the wrong side. And therefore, you need a needle with two tips. So the short needles I have right now for the sock, the sock needles, or you take a circular needle. That's when you have, this is just a little swatch. So this is my first row. Now I'm doing my second row. It's knitted as well. I'm tangled here. So all the way across the second row, just knit. Nothing special. And then I will show you what to do with the next row because my yarn is on the right side or the wrong side. Let's find out. So two rows with the thin yarn and my yarn is on the right side. So I just turn around and knit one row with the bulky yarn or with this heavy yarn here. So and always knit it. Very easy, very simple. So across, and now you will see already that because I'm knitting only one row with the bulky yarn here, with the super bulky actually, that my thin yarn is on the right side. And therefore, I'm knitting the front row or the back row a second time. So my yarn is not here. I'm not turning my work around. I'm just knitting from the same side all over again. And this time my stitches are all knitted on my needle. Therefore the next row has to be purled. And that makes this little pattern. So it's really, really easy. So purl. That's the only purl row in my repeat. The repeat is always two rows with the thin yarn and one row with the thick yarn. So here we go, all the way, purl, and then the second row with the thin yarn will be knitted. So there's only one row purled. And you just watch, as the row from the thick yarn is, appears to be knitted, then you have to purl, and the opposite. You purl if the row is knitted. So here comes my knit row across and then you can see already that my thick yarn is on the wrong side. So this is my second row knit and this is all what you have to watch for. Just slide your needle. This is nice to knit in a round then you don't have to slide your needle because the yarn is always there where you stop and you finish one round. So for, for a cowl or for an infinity scarf. So now I have to slide the needle and start from this side again. And always knit it. The thick yarn is always knitted. So, and I'm hitting now. Oh, it's a little bit hard. The edge stitch. So all the way across the thick yarn. Always two rows thin, one row with the thick yarn. And the project I did is a triangle shawl and I'm using our merino nylon sock yarn as the thin yarn and the thick yarn is our flame yarn, which one we also call the cuddle yarn. So here we go, all the way to the end. So now the stitch is getting very loose again here. So you just tie it just a little bit up. So, and here you have the two rows, they're coming here nicely together. So it's like a, a rib, a rib stitch or something. When you pull it apart, it makes this a very, very nice open texture, a very interesting with the two yarns. Maybe because the thick yarn is hand painted, variegated, it makes this a little bit nicer as well. The thin yarn is uh, the our Sophia yarn, just one color. So it's up to you how to combine. Just uh, put up, I had six, 16 stitches here on my needle. You can combine a yarn you might have, or you like the shawl, I will share with you right now. 
So this is our new shawl. It's a triangle shawl. I started at the neck and here is my increase line. The cutter uh, yarn or the flame yarn, the thick and thin, uh, is my fat yarn and my thin yarn is the merino nylon sock yarn. And what the thick and thin yarn does, you see it's a really, really bumpy uh, surface but it's really nice and makes a nice uh, texture. And when I stretch it, you see it has a lot of memory. You see the two rows with the thin yarn and one row with the thick yarn. Otherwise, all the same what I just shared with you with our Donna yarn and uh, the Sophia yarn. So, this is still on the needle. I have to work tonight to finish this for tomorrow. And um, so let's see how you like it. Just let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>